kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on WhatsApp status saver app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So I hope that you have understood whatever I have told in my previous part of the video series. I mean the the second part of the video. So in this video, we are now going to work on the fragments and its adapter. So let's get started. Since uh, you already know that we will be using the two fragments, one for the images and one for the videos. So for the uh, let's say we okay. So now there is another uh, tip which I want to uh, teach you is that you need to uh, structure your code as well as your project. So for that you need to uh, write the classes in your separate. Uh, packages so here you need to click on new and click on uh, packages then you need to write let's say we want uh, the fragments so we will be putting all the fragments uh, here inside this package all right so let's create another package and this one will be for the activities then another uh, package it will be for the utils and then we will be using another package and that will be for the adapters all right so let's create the fragment so click on new and click new java class and for there we need to write the class so we can say image fragment all right click ok then we need to create another fragment and it will be video fragment and click ok so now for the image fragment what we are going to use is we need to extend it with fragment and so here we can write extend with fragment and there inside this our uh, fragment we have uh, two methods uh, we which we use the first one is the on create view and then we have on view created so in on create view we just uh, inflate the layout and then inside our own view created we write all the code all right so here we have on uh, create view all right and then we have on view created so here inside this so as we uh, same is the case for the video part so here we will extend it with fragment and then we will override the two methods first one is the on create view and the second one is the on view created so for these uh, fragments we need the layout file so we click on new and click new layout resource file and for this we can say fragment slash image and then we can use another one which will be fragment underscore videos or video all right these two are the fragments so inside our image fragment what we are going to do we are going to inflate our view so for this we can say view equal to inflated dot inflate and what what uh, which layout we want to inflate so we will specify that let me write r dot layout dot and i don't know okay so yes we need to uh, import it and for the layout we can say fragment image then we can say container and the last one will be false and then we will return this view so similarly for this we can just copy it and we put it inside our uh, video fragment uh, on create view and instead of this fragment image so we can say fragment video all right so after this uh, we just remain it as it is and then we create a new adapter for our for our view pager okay we because we need to bind this adapter to our view pager so for that we can create a new java class and it will be called as the pager adapter all right so for this pager adapter we need to extend it with 
fragment pager adapter and there you can see it needs to have some we just need it needs to implement some methods the first one is the get item and then the get count so these two are the items and after this there it is still so showing us error because there is no default constructor so we can create okay so for this you just need to put your cursor here and then you need to press alt enter for the windows so press here and click on create constructor and there now the errors have been removed so what you we can do from here is we first of all need to initialize our image uh, our fragment so for that we can say private image fragment and we name it as image fragment and then we can say private video fragment and then we can say video fragment so we just need to initialize them inside our uh, constructor so we can say equal to new image fragment and then for the videos is same as it is video fragment all right so inside this get item what we need to return is if the position is zero then it will return the image fragment otherwise it will return the uh, video fragment so inside this here we can have a check if i equal to zero then we can say return image fragment else if i equal to okay so we just simply can say else return video fragment all right and after this inside our uh, okay so we again and then we need another method and it will be get page title and here we also need to do the same thing okay so what we can do we can check if position equal to zero let me see okay so it will we can say return images else return videos okay this one is for the uh, title of this and then inside this get count so we can simply say two because we have the size of the fragments as two all right so now we have successfully implemented the pager adapter then we go back to our um, main activity and inside this main activity we are now going to use the view pager and we just need to set it so for this we can simply say view pager dot set adapter and here inside this we can say new pager adapter and here we can pass get spot fragment manager all right and make sure that you select uh, this uh, package name com dot this one will be yours okay so here after we uh, set the adapter to our view pager so we can simply now say tab layout dot setup with view pager and here we can pass our view pager object all right guys so the that's it we have successfully implemented i mean first of all we created the fragments and then we bounded the we initialized them inside our pager adapter then we set the adapter to our view pager and then we set up uh, we used the setup with view pager method and we set the tab layouts for this all right so if i want to so i have connected my phone so i need to open the side sync app Okay, so now our app is successfully uh, connected. Okay, 
so let's run our app and let's see if we have the fragments or not all right guys so now the app is getting installed on our phone okay so now the app is installed so you can see and here it now the app has crashed so we need to see where did it crash so for to check you can use the lock cat and here select error and write exception okay so it does it did not show us any exception so we will open it again okay so here we have set support action bar and what is the error okay so yes we need to also make sure that we have this main activity and we need to set the theme to no action bar all right so now we will run our app again and this time the app will work there you can see the splash and yes there we have images and the videos all right so we also need to change the background of this images and videos i mean the tab layout and we can do it in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye